In this video, I'm gonna show how to multiply radicals using FOIL method. So let's get started. First, we're gonna multiply the first terms, uh, negative 2 square root of 3 times square root of 3. I'm saying first because negative 2 square root of 3 is the first term in this factor, and then square root of 3 is the first term in the second factor, okay? So I'm gonna write on the side here first, and we have negative 2 square root of 3 times square root of 3, which equals negative 2 square root of 9. And we already know that square root of 9 is going to be positive 3, which equals negative 6. Okay? So we have a negative 6 for the first one. Then the O stands for outside term. Okay? So I'm going to write outside. So we have a negative 2 square root of 3 times negative 5. Those two terms are on the outside. So we have a negative 2 square root of 3 times negative 5. So notice that I put negative 5 in parentheses because it is negative and sometimes students, when they don't put parentheses, it might look like negative 2 square root of 3 minus 5. So, and this is what we don't want. We want to multiply, which equals 10 square root of 3. Okay? So, plus 10 square root of 3. And notice that I cha I'm changing colors so that it will help you better to follow if you need to post the video and see where the numbers came from. Okay? So now we're going to look at the i, which is inside term, inside. And on the inside, we have a term 2 and square root of 3. So 2 times square root of 3. So 2 times square root of 3. If there is no plus or minus between 2 and square root of 3, it is automatically times. And we also say 2 times square root of 3. So it's 2 square root of 3. Okay? So this is going to be plus 2 square root of 3. And then we have the last term. Let's see what color to put. Maybe green one. So the L stands for last. 2 times negative 5. So I'm going to write last term, which is 2 times negative 5. And that equals negative 10. So I'm going to add negative 10. Okay? So I'm adding negative 10 to the rest of the expression here. So now uh, we are not done with the problem. We have to see whether there are any terms that we can combine. And you can see that you have a negative 6 and negative 10. We can combine those two terms and get negative 16. And then we have a 10 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3, which equals to 12 square, square root of 3. So at this point, we cannot combine any further because we have only negative 16. Uh, square root of 3 is irrational number. We don't have any more of square root of 3. So this is the answer, and we have to leave the answer in this form. I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.